slightly awkward age, aren't I? You know, slightly too old for Hugh Hefner, slightly too young for Harry Styles, you know? <laughs> and uh, I actually said to a, a doctor friend of mine, um, well, actually, husband, really, just um, <laughs> keep things casual. Uh, but then we're going through this honesty phase, I have to say, where he says things like, you know, I'd like to make love with you really badly, and I go, well, you just have. <laughs> <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. Does anyone know who it is? Quickly now. Anyone who said that? Dicker. Oh, sorry. Close. It's Dicker. Uh, Mark Lawson! Do you favour the pragmatist, the existentialist, or the creationist um, <laughs> in terms of understanding the meaning of life? You. And he's got uh, the same amount of awards as the other person, but in a different capacity, but similar. Um, <laughs> so, Mark Lawson and Michael Green. I'm just putting my glasses on so there's parity um, between the three of us on stage. Um, do you favour creationism or existentialism, and which makes you less anxious? <laughs> so we were going to get Joan Collins, we were, we were going to get Joan Collins, but we just had this phone call because uh, she'd been rushed to hospital, Bessa, uh, to attend the birth of her next husband. <laughs> Michael, be honest, because Mark was honest. Um, have you ever shoplifted? <laughs> I, think, I think I may have stolen one single OXO cue. <laughs> and then he said, well, you're looking, you know, foxy tonight. And I said, oh, yeah. He said, yeah, what's with the yellow teeth and the red bush? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone I else read the this book? Of that. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Idol World. It's a really... Wild. Wild. Yeah, I know that. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Um, I've got it in my bag if anybody wants to see me afterwards. Proust, you know, and when he walked past the bakers of his childhood, do you remember, and he smelt the madeleines, and he became so aroused that he immediately had an orgasm, which he had to pass off as an epileptic fit so as not to draw undue attention to himself. <laughs> Haven't we all done that? Um, and um, qualia, we're talking about meaning, here's the whole point of the show. What would be your qualia, darling? Uh oh, uh uh, Vom. <laughs> Tobias, you're new. Oh no, too slow, too slow, forget it. That is just pathetic. I love it the way people murmur. There's no need to talk. The, <laughs> the pencil, the score sheet, focus. You're on a first date and you must come with one of the following A, missing tooth, B, your mother, <laughs> C, a pretend dog. <laughs> Settled. That woman wants me to bring a dog. Yeah, well, the <laughs> pretend dog. She's We're just going to have to live with it. <laughs> People are always saying to me, what is it like to be, you know, an abfab? You know, do you all go around to each other's house? And I go, yeah, all the time, obviously. Not obviously when they're in, because... <laughs> that'd be stalking. Um, anyway, um, shall I tell you who else got a ten? Shall I tell you? This man. Richard Branson. Oh. Good. This is we got to say. Good luck with the WTF show, Helen. Sorry I couldn't sponsor it on this one occasion. Refurbishing Necker. <laughs> <laughs> All the best with the Ericsson profile. It changed my life. My two best qualia are blowjobs and conspiracy theories. Just, <laughs> obviously, my first one was with my driving instructor when I was 14, but I agreed not to talk about that because his settlement was adequate. Um, no, my first marriage was when I was 30. Nine, and uh, so, um, a couple of days later, the phone rang, and it was him. He said, "How would I like to come to Paris for a dirty weekend?" And then there was a silence, and then the voice said, "I'm sorry, have I shocked you?" And I said, "God no, I was just packing." <laughs> Do the Russell Crowe story, because and then link it back to the meaning of life before we do the <laughs> twist. <laughs> Type A likes John Lewis photo frames, gristle, toenail clippings, famous people spittle. He starts saying you've got a f***ing tin ear, mate. If you think that's f***ing Irish, and you start doing all this. Type B likes gondolas, chocolate cake, sun, wine, cuddly puppies, fluffy towels, free upgrades, and nice cheese. And on Radio Four, if someone swears, you have to bleed them. But when we played the tape back afterwards, it was like a lorry reversing. And your character, I'm afraid, is self-righteous, cold-hearted, manipulative and suspicious. We're talking about Geoffrey Archer, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> what do you call an Englishman in the final of the World Cup? Referee. Um... Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, Helen Lederer!
No, I did, I did do Panto in Bromley, and um, uh, Simon Cowell came, so I was the fairy, obviously that's the only part you play when you're my age, and um, so I said, you know, I said, uh, yeah, I'm the fairy, but I think I might be quite good in the music business, and he said, oh, that's interesting, I'm quite good in the music business, but people think I'm... 